lecture on designing your book cover. We're going to assume that we've completed the hardest part of this whole process, which is actually authoring the content. We've also organized our content and we've picked the template. For the purpose of this course, we're going to use the editorial template. So we're ready to start putting our book together. Now we're going to start with the first element in the book pane, which is the book title. And before I get too far into it, I'm going to reorganize my workspace a little bit. I'll move the main window to the left, and I'll open up a finder window with my content. I'll just sort of resize that and place it on the right-hand side. I like arranging my workspace this way so that I can easily access content whenever I need it. The book title, or this area that you're looking at right now, this is the image that your readers are going to see when they're searching for your book in the iBookstore. It's also the image they're going to see when they uh, look at their bookshelf in iBooks. So you want to make sure that you have an attractive cover. And uh, we have some placeholder text that I, we can start by replacing. So the book title, I've got New York City, and I'm going to just include the author name. Now, this particular element, it's uh, des designated for edition. So if I was writing a a travel guide and this is the 2015 edition I could change that I can just go ahead and delete it now if you are working with another template and you want to know which element corresponds to what you can bring up your styles drawer so if you have your styles drawer and you select an element you can see that it's related to title if I select Udemy course you'll notice that the author paragraph style is highlighted so that's how you can tell which fields are being used for what information. Now what I want to do is, let's get rid of the style drawer here. What I want to do is bring in an image. And I've got my image here in my cover folder. I'll just go ahead and drag and drop it directly onto the page. Now this is a, a good starting point for a cover, uh, but perhaps I already have this book published elsewhere. I've already designed a cover in Photoshop and Illustrator. What you can do is you can export a JPEG or a PNG file and you can actually drop it on top of this page. And you know we can get rid of this extra text element. And what I'm going to do is simply drag and resize the cover so that it fits the whole page. We obviously are, are keeping our metadata related to the the actual title, the author information, but now this is going to be what the reader sees when they see this book come up in their iBookstore or if they've purchased it and it's sitting on their bookshelf. Okay, and that's all there is to creating an attractive book cover with iBooks Author.